Ah, bollocks. Okay guys, welcome to another video. This is Why I Love. Now this game needs absolutely no introduction. This is the mighty track and field by Konami. Released, uh, oh, I'm not sure when it was released, I don't know, 1981, 82, something like that? I'm really not too sure. Anyway, who cares, doesn't matter. Um, now, I must admit, <laughs> um, GL76 Gaming actually picked this game as uh, the YouTuber's challenge. Now, it was the first challenge I was actually going to have a shot off, um, and I was gutted that my entry didn't actually make it in because uh, I foolishly pulled the channel down. Um, but uh, it just made me realise, having a shot of it, it just made me realise how much I love this game. I'm just going to turn the volume down slightly so I can actually hear myself talking. Now, I remember playing this in Craigswood Sports Centre. It was the uh, the button version, which was always pretty difficult to play. Um, but I just, I loved the, the sheer physical sort of uh, competitiveness of it, you know, when you were playing against your mate you really felt like you were uh, you were actually playing a proper sport. So anyway, enough of my waffle, let's just go for uh, a quick shot. So let's see if we can get this going. Now, as I mentioned in the, the video that I put up and then subsequently disappeared, uh, I'm actually using a a sort of joystick that was actually built for me uh, by a rather kind YouTuber. Um, it was designed for playing Robotron, but I've discovered it's actually excellent for a track and field. So enough of my waffle, let's bar on. Uh, start up, so I don't want a one player game. I do want a one player game, I should say. I'll probably not be doing much talking during this one because it is rather physical. <laughs> right, let's get in position. Uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. I'll take that one. Now I think the ideal kind of angle for the, the javelin isn't 45, it's probably can you, ah, probably 41 I would say, something like that. That's poor. Playing this other day, there I actually fell in my arse at the hurdles, which is mark. absolutely fatal. <laughs> Get 
the time, 11.5 seconds. <coughs> Just get a safe one, I think. And that's crap. <laughs> I'm going to say this particular event is my stumbling block. Come on, this time. Awful as well, it might just be enough to qualify. <laughs> Rubbish. Let's go all out now. Now, again, the secret in this one is not to look at the failure, but just to look at the energy bar. Wow. Although it's very, very hit or miss, as you have just kind of proven. <laughs> 2.15 meters. This event, um, once you can get the gist of how to do it, it's actually fairly easy. Um, you tend to find it's the first couple of jumps that are the hardest, just getting into the rhythm. Oh, that was close. But the, the annoying thing about this is, every round you start right at the bottom again and you've got to kind of work your way up. 2.30 meters. I've got to see this joystick, it's excellent for the joystick ladder. 2.35 meters. I think my base at this is 2.46, something like that, I'm sure. They're actually really, really hard to come by. I must admit, out of all the kind of, uh, Play Expo things that I've been to, I Two don't think I've ever seen a track and field. There's always plenty of hyper sports, but no track and field. I think because this one relies more on sort of button mashing, that's probably Two easier broken. Ah, oh, no chance. <laughs> Pretty shit in the, the CRT <laughs> when you actually see the arcade uh, version of this with the sort of, sort of blurred visuals. It looks really nice, but this one looks pretty awful. On your mark. Right. Okay. Here we go. Get set. Oh, bear. 
the time 8.44 seconds. My friend uh, John Studley, uh, Pac-Man, perfect player, um, he is apparently awesome at this game. I've actually seen a video of him playing it and it's just absolutely ridiculous what that guy can actually do. <laughs> is that a fool? Oh, it's not. You usually find the very very first throw of this, it's hard to kind of get even about 90 metres, but you find it after the sort of second and third throws, it seems to let you go further, I'm not quite sure why that is. That's rubbish. The This is where I came and stuck the last time. I actually fell in my arse and hurdles, so on your mark. Take my time a wee bit more, I think. Get set. The time. 10.9, zero seconds. Uh, this is where I'll probably lose a life, I think. Just need to go for it. Wow. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, this event can get a wee bit tedious. The secret of this one is to get as close to the bar as possible. Two point three seconds. Maximum height. Oh. You can see there the second round qualified two point three. That's quite. 
Ich bin jetzt auf das ist der GT, weil er hier schützt sich. Settings, this is going to be tough. Get set. Ah. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Ooh. The time. 8.45 seconds. Come on. Oof, I'll do. The distance 9.36 meters. Seem to get about 10 wow. meters when you get a foul. I don't even know what the record is for that. I don't think you can go over 10 meters. Wow. On your 
mark. Ah, right, this is going to be tough. 11 and a half seconds. Get set. Right. Yeah. On your mark. Get set. Oh! Might just get enough to get an extra man, possibly. Come on, get over 200. Ah! <laughs> Which means I have got to qualify here. Ah, bollocks. This is all down to luck. Wow. I just cannot do this light, uh, this event at all. I've got a few mates that can do it. I just cannot do it. Wow. Oh well, last go. Wow. <laughs> and there we have it guys, that is the mighty Trackin Field. Thank you very much for watching.